Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Thursday. It's June 17th, um, two days before uh, the big day. Um, last night at our staff meeting, the certificate staff meeting, um, as we've been doing for quite a while, uh, we did uh, staff shout outs and then um, staff Oscars, which is pretty neat too. And then Sheila was there, Shalia was there, and she did the longevity awards. But, um, you know, after the event was over, after the meeting was over, it just really hit me pretty well. Um, really occurred to me just, my goodness, um, just the efforts in the last, you know, since, since March, uh, 13th or 16th a year ago, um, that the people in this school have been putting in and, you know, we've seen it along the way and, um, we've gone through so many, you know, it's been a giant roller coaster ride is what it has been. I think, um, lots of highs, lots of lows, lots of places where we didn't know if we can still kind of hang on. Um, but pretty incredible, incredible to hear all the things that were shared. Um, there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes that, uh, you know, the, the information kind of finds its way to the administrator's office that we know about too. So hopefully, you know, if your name like wasn't mentioned, um, hopefully you've heard your name before uh, it, it shout outs or hopefully you've had a caring colleague that has let you know that what you're doing matters because it does. Um, our custodial staff, just starting with them, you know, Stacy has been stellar. Mike Nash has been stellar. John Hill, um, just doing a great job, and, and, and all the other folks too, Yuri, and um, but all the guys that are there. So thanks for everything you guys have done. You guys have had to retool a couple of times, um, and every time you guys come out, um, you know, the job ends up coming out looking really good. So, so just know that. We notice that. Um, child nutrition, you guys have been stellar since the, since the get-go, um, and you guys just keep moving along. Um, like the ever ready bunny i guess um but just doing a great job and and not one complaint and um by anybody for that matter um then you look at our uh, classified staff members um, who are supporting offices and supporting classrooms and um just kind of hearing uh from many of them what else can i be doing um you know when we set act up and Doug and Bobby and Sonia and Lawrence, uh, they were kind of spearheading that effort. And we had captains involved, and that was Katie and Tammy Steve. I don't want to leave anybody out. I think Mary Bryan and Doug Burt. Um, wow, just the heavy, heavy, heavy lift that went on for a long time. I think they finally lost count around, I don't know, probably 300 home visits. Um, and I know there's a lot of home visits that weren't counted, okay, that were happening so thank you thank you thank you um and I'm, I'm again i'm trying not to leave anybody out the the teachers of course i've been saying this recently in the last probably the last couple of weeks they kind of took about i don't know five years and kind of squeeze it into one um all the things they've been required to do um the demands they've had to meet um there just isn't enough to say for the way you guys have stayed tethered to your kids and given them every opportunity um, possible to engage. And sometimes there's things that I think you realize that were just playing out of your control. Um, doesn't mean you didn't care about that, but sometimes I think you just have to let some things go and, and we'll catch up with some of those kids later. And we know that's going to happen. And, you know, um, we'll support those kids and we'll make sure we find out what it is um, they need as we always do. I'm excited we get to come back into the building more full scale next year. We'll have masks, but things are going to feel pretty normal. Um, but, you know, we do such a great job of leveling the playing field for our kids when they're in the building and in our programs that, you know, I just I can't wait. Um, but I just want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart just for everything you guys have done and continue doing. Uh, we got one more week left uh, in a day. Um, we've done really well. Uh, I want to give both of our Lori's, Lori Wood, Lori Grimm, and, and anyone else, Pam Stevenson, who's involved with the contact tracing. Um, it's, it's a whole new side job for them, you guys. And I can't, I don't know, they're probably around 250 now, how many contact tracings they've had to do between school, between events. Um, and they have to run everything back as far as they possibly can, whatever uh, the guidance says they have to do. And our school to date, still, we don't have any contacts um, that turned into a new COVID case 
because of, uh, you know, here at the school or one of our events. So, you know, kudos to everybody for that. You know, the Katie Henry's, uh, all the coaches, um, going to go to a basketball game tonight. Our boys are playing Auburn Mountain View and I know our team's going to do a great job and our coaches are going to set a great tone and our gym's going to be hot and it's going to be really hard to do that. But we got to keep doing it. We know what the science says. We know if we take our masks off, there's a greater chance of somebody contacting it. We got to stay away from those situations. Um, hopefully more people are getting vaccinated. Um, the last word I heard is next year, we don't have to do wellness screenings when kids come into the building or staff for that matter. Um, and classrooms, we're going to go to three foot distancing, but around the common spaces and, and uh, the commons at lunch and uh, hope we can serve breakfast. Uh, we still got to maintain a little more safety than three feet. So I'm just going to kind of wait for the mid August, late August guidance on that. So not going to put a lot of horsepower into that. Want to let you know, I'm really encouraging our administrative team. They've worked pretty hard too. We've, we've kind of done some things behind the scenes. I'm very proud of them. I'm proud of our efforts. Um, I'm trying to get them to tap out as much as they can in July. So I hope you'll do the same. Um, I don't want to say Auburn High School will be a ghost town in July. Uh, we're always going to make sure one of the administrators will be here. We'll have one administrative assistant. Um, and, uh, you know, always feel free to come in, do what work you have. Uh, if we had to take your keys from you, um, sorry about that. I'm kind of limited to those who are working with kids over the summer. Absolutely and absolutely have facilities they have to maintain like plants and fish and things like that. So um, just, you know, do what you can to unplug and, uh, you know, learn what you want to learn. Uh, have joy in the things you want to have joy in. And, you know, August is going to be here before we know it. We know that. So, Anyway, I just wanted to take time to thank you uh, while I was thinking about last night. And uh, we got quite a group here um, known as the Auburn High School staff. So thank you for everything, everyone. Have a great day.